We're over here working on race car. We're gonna uh, play with the heads or the head. This is the head. The other head is perfect. So nothing is wrong with the head that come off of the driver's side. Only the passenger side head is, is one that had an issue. And I tried something new. I'm sure you can see it. I heard a little bit of a header leak. It looks like all of them were almost leaking. This one was leaking pretty severe though. Um, I tried instead of the copper silicone, I got a high temp gray silicone and that stuff did not hold at all. But anyway, so I'm gonna have to revert back to, to the copper silicone or the red silicone. Um, possibly even put my copper gaskets back on it. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about the heads and it, how, how damaged they are. So sitting here looking at this video, uh, one of these is not like the other. Can you tell which one it is? So coming through, looking at installed heights. Oh, everything looks good. Whoa, wait a minute. What is that one? That one is the damaged one for sure. All the other ones, they look pretty good. And you can see that the different, the different height on how much valve steam is sticking up. These valve steams just, uh, the locks are down a little bit further. Uh, than these over here. So these get really close to the rocker, um, but it's just the way that that valve is designed. I, mean, I guess I could put a lash cap on it. And you see the valve, the, the installed height is, it looks a little different. That one's obviously different, but um, the intake looks like it's pushed up a little bit. And the reason why is where that lock, um, now I could get a 50 thousandths reduced lock too and push that down. But I didn't do that. Um, so I mean, the valve, the valve heights themselves are the same, but it's an optical illusion. The retainer is actually pushed up some. So, and you can see the exhaust has got got more uh, exposed. But the installed height on these is two inches, I think. That's two two inches, or either two o fifty. I think it's two inches. Um, so they're all at two inches. So all that means is the intake ones that are, are pushed up a little bit taller They got more shims on them under the bottom So this one right here is a problem um, Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with it Oh, yeah, look at there she is bent um, So all the other valves look good. This is the only only cylinder. This is the one that, that blew up um, there's a little bit of damage. You can see where it, it hit, but you can see also where the where the gasket goes. And so all I'll do is take my my burr and deburr this, and not not down the rough edges, just smooth it out some best I can. Um, I don't I don't the heads might need to be resurfaced. I probably will go ahead and get them resurfaced just to make sure they're nice and and clean. So um, but it should be uh, it should not be an issue. Um, just replacing this one exhaust valve. I'm gonna show you how to take the, the valve out, take the springs off real fast. So we can see this one is the only one that's damaged. Um, all the other ones are, are in good shape. Um, you can see that methanol is pretty rough on some of these um, these chambers. That's why we run top lube. But, um, so I'm gonna flip this head over real fast. So it's pretty easy to do. Just um, try to get everything. So it's on a fairly decently smooth, clean surface, just so you don't have to worry about you know damaging the the surface of the head much um but overall i mean this is pretty doggone simple to do um so this is the one that's lower here so this is the tool that we use you can buy these off of amazon or summit or jigs this is the best thing since sliced bread it has a uh, um seven sixteenths on one end and three eighths up on the other end you can reverse it so if you have um depending on your stud so I don't have studs in this one, so I had to get a, a stud out of another head. So this thing is pretty simple. Um, it just screws down in there, and then the tool screws down on the stud, and it locks in place. These are a pack 1226 springs. So I think they got like 350, 375 pounds on the seat. I think they're set up about 350, so that's a lot of spring pressure. So one of the things you wanna do, you always wanna make sure before you take these off, Take a socket that just you know is bigger than the the stem and the lock, and just smack it a couple good times, um, and all that does is just simply it loosens the lock a little bit, so you can pop it off. It it doesn't take a lot. You I mean sometimes you have to smack it a, a, a decent amount, but it just depends. So this thing just simply screws on down there, 
and there we go and so then you can make this however you want it and it really is as just as simple as as this and this thing should pop right off hold the head make it nice and secure pull and it will pop right down most times you heard the lock release then it pops down in place and then you simply take the locks out or sometimes a little screwdriver if your magnet is is too big and then it just grabs it just like that and so now i've got my two locks and then you just carefully push up on it and now this thing is apart just that easy that one a lot of i mean you're going to pay machine shops to do this a lot but there again like i said I try to do a lot of my work ahead of time so I can, you know, help my machine shop guy out. So he is not, um, have to do quite as much to mine. Um, it just speeds the process up for mine since I can do some. Um, all right, so looking at the spring, I mean, this is just a, a dual spring, so there's nothing wrong with the spring. Locks are good. So of course we know the valve is, is bad. So we'll pop that out. Luckily it's coming right out. I'm not having to bang it out. So that just means that it, it bent right there on the on the edge and see she is nice and bent so depending on what this the surface looks like uh, it's gonna need another valve job so Richard is gonna see this head as well um, and you see the spot sometimes you get lucky and it won't damage the the actual head but in this case it did nick up the the valve surface just a little bit the seat but in this instance it did it, it messed up the seat just a little bit but not bad it's kind of hard to see the light is kind of reflecting off of it um let's see it's just got the, the little shiny spot right here and that little shiny spot is just enough to where and it will burn the valve and not seat not making as much horsepower for sure so that's going to get a valve job and man look down in there these things are as cast um profiler heads uh 210 cc uh intake runners i think they're 64 chambers but this is a, a nice set of heads and it has it's been pretty doggone fast so i'm very impressed with the with the heads so this is a valve that came out of the heads um a while back when i had a blow up but this is what I was talking about a minute ago. You can see the height difference of where the lock is, the stem height. Um, the, the valve I just took out is much taller. It's kind of hard to, to see it. It's a couple hundred thousand, so. We'll get Richard to do these heads, get these, um, this one cleaned up. Then we'll get the block, the crankshaft, and hopefully we'll be throwing this thing back together soon. All right, if you got any questions or comments, uh, hit them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go fast and get some wind lights. Thanks.